Nabo Baba Mash. Zipin to go the bees. Evo, Evo. Do we have homes without the head? Bapi Abo Baba Mabo. Bapi Mona Mabo. Eh, eh, eh. What's that chin anyway? Evo, 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 I sell Eh? Are you feeling it? Lord Dimono, oh, we are now and I a kind. So, Balagil, eh? I don't know if you are feeling the way I'm feeling. You know, I was standing here, I had this pulpit, pulpit shaking to show that indeed it was shaking, the mic fell down. I get sebo in train naki tongue lia itona. I don't know if what I'm hearing, you are hearing it. The spirit of the Lord is in this place. Hey, that same shaking that was there when Jesus rose from the dead. It's here right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Woo. Let us raise our hands to the Lord. Oh, the Spirit of the Lord is so awesome in this place. We thank you, Father. Mm. Oh, Holy Spirit. We give you the praise, Lord. Your Majesty. Oh, the I am that I am. I have never seen a God like you. Ooh. The unshakable Redeemer. The God will never change. The God will remain the same. I love you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my own God. You're all together lovely. You're all together worthy. You're all together wonderful. You're wonderful, Lord. You're wonderful to me. Here I am, here I am, here I am.
This is a year of what? There's a money coming to you. I can't hear you. I said there's a money coming to you. But tell your neighbor that this money is a test to you. The money that is coming is a serious test to you. The money that is coming is a serious test to you. Let's leave that. Let's read John 3. I John chapter 3. I was sharing this with uh, visitors yesterday. From verse, from verse 15. From verse 15. John, John 3. John 3. Can we read there? I want to give you scriptures and, uh, that will work this week. John John 3, verse 15. Not so, so that whoever believes, is verse 15, will in him have eternal life after physical and will actually live forever. And for God so greatly loved Amen. and dearly prized the world that he even gave is one and only begotten son. Amen. So that whoever believes and trusts in him as a savior shall not perish but have eternal life. Amen. For God did not send the son into the world to judge and condemn the world. That is to initiate initiate the final judgment of the world, but the world might be saved through him. Amen. I'm just reading slow. Verse 18, whoever believes and has decided to trust in him Amen. as a personal and Lord is not judged for this one. There is no judgment, no rejection, no condemnation, but the one who does not believe has decided to reject him as a personal savior and the Lord is judged already, that one has been convicted and sentenced because he has not believed and trusted in the same, in the name of the one and only begotten son of God. Amen. Verse 19, this is the judgment. Amen. I just wanted to look at that judgment. That is the cause of indignment, the test by which people are judged, the basis for the sentence. The light has come into the world, and people love the darkness rather than light, for their deeds were evil. For every wrongdoer hates the light and does not come to the light, for fear that his sinful, worthless activities will be exposed and condemned. But whoever practices truth and does what is right, morally, ethically, spiritually, comes to the light so that his works may be plainly shown to be what they are. Amen. Accomplished in God, um, divinely prompted, done with God's help, in dependence on him. Let's pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. I've been trying to read the Bible this way <laughs> to understand and to find revelation from the scriptures. We know that God gave his son. But now, where we have read, we end up hearing the judgment. Tell your neighbor, say, you are the light. 
I was sharing this with my visitors yesterday. That if the light is there, we know where we are going. So here the Bible says, the judgment, the judgment, if you can read from verse 19, it says the, the light has come into the world. But people loved darkness. If you can look at the second stanza of verse 19. It says, light has come into the world and people love the darkness rather than light. Why? Because their deeds were evil. We are reading that it's only when your deeds are evil. You are rejecting the light. And you love darkness. Today now we know that no one can judge you, you can judge yourself. If God brought our Lord Jesus Christ to give us eternal life. That eternal life is life. And that life is light. So the judgment is if we, our deeds are evil, we are rejecting the light. Therefore, we are rejecting Christ. And we don't have light. When I was reading this, I began to see that we love to talk about Christ whereas our deeds are wrong. Our works define us. Also denote us where we are. If you are in the light, it's because of your deeds. It's because of your works. If you are in the dark, it's because of how the how So you can't say, I've accepted Christ when your works are evil. When I read First John, maybe let's leave First John. Let's read John. 1. John 1, we read from verse 1. Let's go back a little bit. John 1. John 1 from verse 1. John 1 chapter 1. Can you read? In the beginning, before all things, all before all time, was the word Christ. And the word was with God. And the word was God himself. Carry on reading from verse 1 to 5. He was continually existing in the beginning co-eternally with God all things were made and came into existence through him and without him not even one thing was made that has come into being in him was, the, was life and the power to bestow life and the life was the light of men the light shines on the darkness and the darkness did not understand it or overpower it or appropriate it or absorb it and is unreceptive to it. I want us to look at this verse 3. All things were made and came into existence through him. In other words, our Lord Jesus Christ, if he was not there, we are not there. Now it says, without him, not even one thing was made. We don't have any shape without Christ. Verse 4 says, in him was life. And the power to bestow life. And the life that was there is the light of men. It is clear that the Bible says here 
that when we come to Christ, he give us life. And that life is the light. It's clear. Without Christ, we are in the dark. Christ has your democratic lives with him. And our deeds and a happy mission we are in demonstrate us. Here it allows our works shows them. Mission we are in I won't just say where we are reading here. More about and Simona, you could see that the life that you found from Christ makes you light. Bo Pilobo Grayam or Christ, the body or when I was here. The works. That you'll be showing because Christ is in you. It changes us to be light. The life that was in Christ it is the light of men. In other words, you won't find yourself or understand who you are until you find Christ. Without Christ, you are in the dark. You can still live and live and copy people you are looking around. You, you, you won't get your identity and understand your destiny without the life from Christ, which is the light of you. When I was learning that, I realized that, oh, it means, it means when, you are with, with, when you are with Christ, you live the life you are created to live. Ephesians 5 verse 8, the Bible says you were in the dark but here it says you were once darkness now you have been brought into the light and you become light so walk as the children of light walk as the as the children who have got life of Christ can you read that verse 8 for once you were darkness uh -huh. but now you are light in the Lord Walk as children of light. Live as those who are native born to the light. You are demanded to have the character of showing that you are children of God. Read that verse again. Eight. For once you were darkness. You were darkness. But now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Live as those who are native born to the light. So you are the one who have right to show that you are a child of God. You are the one who can show us live a life of showing that you are in the light. Walk as children of God. When I read this verse, the Bible says, you know, without Christ, you are darkness. In other words, you cannot be separated with the dark. But when the life of God enters you, it makes you light where there is darkness. You are bound to change many. You are about to be a, a light for many people around you. Tell them, I, was, I was darkness. Now I'm the light. Did you ever know when the Bible says you are the light? You are surrounded with people who are in the dark. They must learn life from you. People must copy you. You cannot copy them. People must copy you. You must not copy them. The moment, even when you are quiet, when you are not preaching, they know you. Because you are different. Do you know that the moment when light lighten up? It really exposing everything. People begin to see. Everything becomes clear. I mean, how can you live a life in the dark? When you are staying with someone, you have got light. 
It means you are just rejecting that light. What are we now? No, 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 no. You were darkness. That's why Bible now you are light. So when you are in the dark, everybody can do whatever. They don't even understand their age. Have you ever found a man who's who's in the dark? He's still young. 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 Does he even understand that this girl is like, you know, the second born of you? He, he can still talk with the second boy and say, sorry, sorry. 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 Sorry, you will start seeing that uh, this one is not of my age. This one is not of my age. There is no age difference in people that are in the dark. They are all equal. They are all the same. They don't see all of them. They don't even know where they are going. They don't even understand what they do. Everything in them is an advantage. Tell the neighbor says, are you, are you darkness or you are the light? Only swifi na oba usiecha. How are your deeds? Mishumo ya o yona iringi. If the Bible says, walk as children, it means you are the one to decide. You have been given ability to say yes or no. Let's read 1 Peter 2 verse 9. 1 Peter 2 verse 9. This scripture we normally read but we don't understand it. I just want us to read with Amplified Bible. I want you to understand who you are now. First Peter 2 verse 9. It says, But you are a chosen race. Listen to that verse. You, are, you, are, you know, you are, you are not black or white. You are a chosen race. Right. Carry on reading. A royal priesthood. You are a royal. consecrated yeah. nation. You're, you're from royalty, okay? You're consecrated, all right? A special people. You are special. For God's own possession. My God. So that you may proclaim the excellencies, meaning the wonderful deeds and virtues and perfections of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. You are called from darkness to come and proclaim. How can you proclaim things that you, you won't touch? How can you talk about things that you don't have? You are his special people. Who have come to declare. You are coming from darkness. Excellencies things belongs to you. Excellent things also belong to you. Can you just read that verse again? Listen to the verse. But you are a chosen race, uh -huh. a royal priesthood, a royal priesthood, a consecrated nation, my God, a special people for God's own possession, so that you may proclaim the excellencies. The wonderful deeds and virtues and perfections of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. I want to tell you that where you are, God allow you to be there. And he's having a purpose about your life. You are not there by mistake. He consecrated you. But you are special. A, a, a special person is on a mission. You, you are in a mission. Of God from God. God. To proclaim. Listen to this. You cannot proclaim without produce. You cannot just proclaim. Without producing. 
when you are given authority to proclaim, you are also given a chance to encounter some of you here you are looking at challenges you have been sent where you are and you have to proclaim I mean the completeness of God the holiness of God the hand of God people, people have to see what you are saying this year people must see what you are saying God you have been of the time when you've been talking, talking without results. This is the time that you proclaim the things from God. The above things. Do you know that God can allow you to be in the, in the dark place and raise you from that place? He has allowed you to be in that place where you, where you are. are. But He wants to make you special. That's why I say I'm special. I'm different. I'm consecrated. Listen, you have been consecrated to be to, to, to bring a teaching. A lifestyle. A lifestyle. A, a certain kind of lifestyle. About your God. When I look at you, some of you say, Oh God, I'm tired. I want to leave this job. Just stay there. Very soon, God will show you a special. Do not be tired where you are. I'm here to tell you, do not be tired where you are. Do not leave that marriage. Do not leave that house. Do not leave that business. Do not leave that, 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 do not leave. You are a special. You are on a mission. You are there with a purpose. And God is about to do something through you. If you believe, say amen. amen. That's why I say God is about to do something through you. The moment when I get this scripture, I say, ah. If the Bible says royalty, royalty, do you know royalty? A person from royalty, when he appears there, you will know that this person is from royalty. Royalty. You are princess, princess, lady princess, and prince. God has raised you so that people must look at you. If there is nobody ah. looking at you, something is wrong about you. That's why I said this year they must look at you. Royalty. Ah ah. And you are looking at them. You are looking at the people who are supposed to look you at you. You are copying people that are supposed to copy, copy you. you. Today you must change. I say today you must change. Tell somebody say my friend. Do you understand royalty? You have the light. And you are the light. When you reach a place. You understand where you are going. You know where you come from. Because the light of God is on you. And you are the light where you are. People have to depend on you. If you go off, they are lost. I say if you go off, they are lost. Some of them, they act like they don't depend on you. I want to tell you, because you are there, Satan cannot do anything. Because you are there, no one will die in your family. Because you are there, Satan will be exposed and his works will come clear in the name of Jesus. Let's read this scripture that I was reading in John 9, John 9 verse, 3. verse 3 when I was reading this I said oh my God oh my God John 9 verse 3 I read this I said oh I what I'm teaching you I've read that several times and it's not new to you but I've read the read verse three. Jesus answered, 
neither this man nor his parents sinned, but it was so that the works of God might be, might be displayed and illustrated in him. Read that verse again. Jesus answered, uh -huh. neither this man nor his parents sinned, but it was so that the works of God might be displayed and illustrated in him. Verse 4. We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one can work. You hear that verse? Listen to this. Jesus was Jesus. approached by the disciples. And they say, who sinned? This Mary, man is born blind. And Kima. Jesus said, no. Jesus said, no. No one is seen here. We must work. Jesus didn't say, I must work. Jesus included all of us. Listen to this. People in the dark, they are always failing. And they've got a reason why they fail. When these people fail, to heal this man. They say, is his sins. But Jesus came to say, it's not that the parents sinned. Even this man has not sinned. It's us who are in the light. We must bring solutions. You are responsible. What is impossible to the people of the darkness is possible to us. Listen to this. Some of you, you are saying it's very hard. It's very difficult. We must work. There's a light of God for us. Light of God on us. And we are the light. We have solutions of everybody's challenge. We must work. You know, this verse 3. What's about verse just, 3? Can you read that verse 3 again? I'm just reminding you. I just wanted to see what we are it doing. It says what? Jesus answered, neither this man nor his parents sinned, but it was so that the works of God might be displayed and illustrated in Is him. Is it verse 3 you are reading? Yes, it's verse 3. Read it again. Jesus answered, uh -huh. neither the man nor his parents sinned, uh -huh. but it was so that the works of God might be displayed and illustrated in him. Can you see what the disciples said? Now, go about it. Yes, yeah, this guy, that's why he was born. Uh, because that's no one can open his eyes. Read verse 4 again. We must work the works of him who sent me why it is there. day. Why Jesus say we must work? Why Jesus are arena? He was also referring to his disciples. If we are his disciples, we must work. I don't know what you are facing. I'm, I'm about to work. And you must work. Where they have failed, I see you coming out with results. Where they were blocked, I see you passing there. If you believe, shout hallelujah. We must work because the light is on us. Today, I want to say there's nothing that can be impossible to us. I want to be honest with you. There's nothing that can be impossible to us. I believe it's a mindset. It's a mindset. Let me give you an example by. by, by Someone here in the church. Ah, someone in the church. Uh, uh, I was always with Baba Gama and I'm still with him. Baba Gama, today with his wife, they gave a testimony. I'm sure you heard that. You learn a lot. I even told Baba Gama, will learn learn a lot. A lot. But when I was telling Baba Gama that you will learn, I was not saying you will learn because you are seeing a car. I was referring to your mindset. But 
Baba Gama with his wife, they have money to buy a car. But because they have not driven a car like the one I'm driving. They have different mindsets. And they have different mindsets. They have different mindsets. They They forget who they are. You can die with money. You can suffer with money until your mindset changes. I don't know if you are hearing me. So Jesus was also changing the mindset of the disciples. I said, don't listen to the Pharisees. They fail to heal this man. And they say, this man is because of his sin. And the parents were devoted to the church. They are in the church. They are even afraid to come out from the church and they were committed and Jesus said hey I'm changing your mindset I have come you believe in me I'm the light you are the light we must work we must change the impossibilities we are born to do something here I don't know if you are hearing me I want to tell you hey you cannot die in the dark the light of God is upon you don't die there where you are. You are the light. You are the light. I say you are the light. If you are the light, you can get results where other people are failing. If you believe, say amen. So when I'm speaking with you, I'm just concerned if you are hearing what I'm saying. God doesn't care whether you are from location or if you are from bush or from anywhere. Do you have the light of God in you? If the light of God is in you, I want to declare something I want to declare something to you. This year, there is nothing that will be impossible to you. I said there is nothing that is going to be impossible to you. One time Jesus spoke about it. He said, you are like the light on top. You cannot be hidden. You cannot be hidden. You are already exposed. You are exposed. You are exposed. When I say exposed, some people just... I mean, their ears begin to grow. <laughs> because of the exposure. I'm talking about be exposed to the truth. Revelation is upon you. You understand. Let me take you back to what you know. In John 11. Read these scriptures you will see. Why Jesus says he's going to Judea? Because the light of God was upon him. So he can see what happened. Where he was, he could see that Lazarus was dead. And he understood what he's going to do. Can you read John 11? Read from verse 7. Revelation 12, verse 7. It says, Then he said to his disciples, uh -huh. Let us go back to Judea. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, meaning teacher, The Jews were only recently going to stone you, and you are thinking of going back there again. Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours of light in the day? Anyone who walks in the daytime does not stumble because he sees by the light of the world. Stop there, Mama. Uh, just, just, you can go and read there from verse 7 to 16. Jesus knew he could see. To them, Jesus was risky. Listen to this. To himself, he knew what he's going to yeah, do. No, no. Because the light of God was upon him. 
Some people, when they look at your life, they think you are risking. In what you are doing. But when the light of God comes upon you, you can see that project. You could see that business. The light of God, when it enters you, look what these people say. Why do you want to go to Judea? If Jesus could not go to Judea, the best miracle on earth was not supposed to have happened. It took Jesus to get the revelation. The light of God in you brings revelation. That revelation will make you to do things that others could not touch. You will go where others cannot go. Because you are seeing where you are going. I just remember I told people that that when I started the church here, my spiritual father didn't want me to be here. He said, I will suffer when I'm here. You have got a church in Midrand, I must go there. It's only when I was sleeping. I saw myself standing on top of the mountain. And that mountain, I was told, this is Winnie Mandela. It's where you are. It's where I have sent you. And I saw people coming out from the holes, climbing coming to the top of the mountain. I said, this is the light of God. This is a revelation from God. And I told my spiritual father, he said, I was feeling pity of you. What you are saying is true. I was just feeling pity. What you are going to go through there, it's not nice, but I say it's temporary. Listen to me. What you are going through is temporary. Just hold on. To other you are risky. The light of God is upon you. You can endure when you are there. You can carry on when you are there. Until God announces you. Until God declares you. There are some people who are here today. What you are going through is very bad. But the light that is in you must make you to be where you are. Try to be like you are risking to them. But before God, you have got a revelation. I've got revelation. I'm telling you, I've got revelation. That I want to tell you where you are. You won't die there. Where you are is temporary. Where you are is where God wants to raise you from there. Just hold on for and God is about to raise you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. You know, sometimes I feel like I can tell you, hey, all these temptations you are going through must not forget who you are. Listen, everybody who speaks started to be small. Jesus said, sorry. There's a big miracle there. But your eyes, it looks like we are risking. Listen, the light of God, it is still with me. I must work what God wants me to work. Some of you are looking at what is happening with me. Others you are rejected. You are facing failure. I say, can you just carry on doing what God wants you to do wherever you are? And the Lord of mercy, the Lord of all grace, will see you through. If you believe, shout hallelujah. In Psalm 119, verse 130, it says, the unfolding of your glorious ways Give light. Unfolding gives understanding to the simple. 
fast. Unfolding of his word. As you are hearing God's word, you are holding God's word. There's a light to your feet. The word of God brings light. It makes you to move to where you are going. Some of you, you are th they are thinking you are in one place. But when you are taking the word of God, you are going closer to your destiny. You are going to where God is taking you. There are some people who are here. I want to tell you that every word of God you take is a step towards your destiny. It's like it's tough where you are, but carry on with the step. When you take a verse, you've taken a step and you are moving forward. Yes, around you, there is dark, but on your feet, you won't stumble. You know, Darkness can still hit your head. But God won't allow it to hit your feet. Because where you are positioning your feet is a road to where God is taking you. I see God taking some people to a place where nobody in the family has ever reached. I see God taking you your steps towards the destiny he has set for you. I don't care what is happening to you. But God is taking you forward. Say, I'm going forward. I'm not a failure. I'm not a failure. And I'm not fallen. But I'm moving forward. The moment when you take a step towards, you take a verse. You take a verse. You carry on. You are not aware of what is happening. But you are not in one place. What the devil wants to do is to stagnate you. It's to surround you. It's to capture you. To steal you and to kill you. When the Lord of God flashes, you won't die there because the light of God demands you to move. I'm moving. I'm not dying here, I'm moving. I'm not falling here, I'm moving. Sometimes you look around, it's like you are in one place because of the depths you are having, because of the challenges you are going through. But I want to tell you, just take the word of God as it is. You are finishing. You are on your road. You are coming to your end. In fact, I want to tell you that you are the light. You know, I have tried that. One time I, you know, one man gave me three goats. I don't In know. In Mafike, three goats. Mafike. I told my mom, I said, I want to try God of Abraham. The Bible says this. Abraham was rich. Abraham in everything, in animals. We cannot just be rich in money. Rich with animals. And I say, I will just get a male one. I couldn't believe what I saw. You know, where I was born is a village where there's a lot of sand. Around. For one God to give birth to five. five. I've never seen something like that. From there, I began to hear my neighbors complaining. I began to hear, I knew that God of Abraham that I've read in the Bible is a road map to me. I could see that whatever we say we are trying to do from the world, it materializes. It takes us to where God wants us to be. I began to see goats everywhere. I began, I began to say, let me buy sheep. I was shocked. I bought sheep. I brought them. There were 17. One man who knows sheep, he, he knows agriculture, he came and look at my sheep. He said, uh, Pastor, kill all of them. This sheep here, kill all of them. This sheep, they are going to die, all of them. They are sick. I laughed at him when I was going. 
And the same sheep began to give birth. I didn't know that I brought the sickness to him they were pregnant. Can I tell you this? You have got the light of God. Don't die there. Don't die there. What happened to your brothers and sisters will never happen to you. Just take the word and move forward. Take the word and reach your destiny. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've got many verses I want to give you. Here. Ephesians 5. By Ephesians 5. Verse 6 to 13. Write it down. Verse 6 to 13 in one verse. We must learn. Are you today? The light of God makes us to learn what is acceptable from God. That's number one. Number two. Number two. It makes us to, to be. To have sight. To expose everything. Number three. We learn not to participate in wrong things. We learn not to participate on wrong things. The word of God makes us to learn what is acceptable from God. That is number one. Number two, the word of God makes us to be able to see so that we expose what is wrong. The last one, the word of God doesn't want us to participate to worthless and unproductive deeds. Days of Satan. In other words, the light of God will make us to know people around us. There are some people we don't need. They come with curses. They come with the things around us. We don't need them. Amen. Amen. That's what the word of God makes you to know people. People have to be exposed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If we read John 12, from verse 31 to 41, 31 to 41. just read verse 31 only. Verse 31. Yes. <clears throat> now judgment is upon this world. The sentence is being passed. Now the ruler of the world is certain will be cast out. Read it too. And I, if and when I am lifted up from the earth on the cross, will draw all people to myself, Gentiles as well as Jews. Jesus was teaching to the disciples, uh, to the disciples and Pharisees. And he showed them he has come to bring judgment when he goes to the cross. And he said, the judgment has come. If you believe in me, you are in the light. If you don't believe, you are in the dark. Accepting Jesus to be your Lord and Savior, you are declaring yourself that there is light in you. There is light in you. He has come to bring light to us. And the light becomes life for us. Remember, we are able to expose. We are able to know we are able to stay in truth. We cannot mix up things. Jesus said, if you do not believe, you stay in the dark. As Christians, we are in the light today. Because you are in the light. By me accepting Jesus, the light of God is waking in you. If you believe, say amen. Amen. Matthew 5 verse 16. Matthew 5 verse 16. It says what? Hearing. It says, let your light shine before men 
in such a way that they may see your good deeds and moral excellence and recognize and honor and glorify your Father who is in heaven. I want to stop there. You have ability to show the light. One time when we were playing soccer, I was telling people that, hey, don't forget I'm around. Because our light must be shown by us. Some people are there to extinguish that light. Even some challenges are there to put that light on. Don't allow your light to go off. Because of the behaviors of other people. Because of the temptations you are going through. You can rather be stupid from God. Than to put your light off. When I look at some of you here. Your light is very small now. Because you have been affected by other people. Allow your light to shine. And your Father God will be glorified. It's when you are keeping that light. That will bring our God to be glorified. Yes, you can be stupid for now. When people are looking at you like you don't know what, what you're doing. But keep that light. And the light of God. One day will bring God to reveal himself. And he will do what he wants to do with you. I want to tell you that you are going to be challenged. The devil wants this light to go off. You are entangled around you. You are being challenged around you. Allow your light to shine. The deeds of showing you are following Christ must not dry it up. I pray that this year that God who sees in the dark will see you through. You will open doors for you and bring a blessing in your life. In the name of Jesus. I want to say glory be to God. God bless you. Let us all stand. I'm stopping there. Here I am to worship here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. All together loving, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Here I am to Here I am to bow down Here I am to say that You're my God You're all together love All together ready Say that you're my God. You're all together loving. You're all together with me. You're all together wonderful. You're wonderful to me. You're wonderful to me. Here I am. 
worship Here I am to bow down Here I am to say that You're Listen to this. You need, you must know that what Satan does not want from you, he doesn't want you to know the light of God. Thank you, Jesus. That is in you. The moment the light of God is waking in you, the life of Christ is waking in you. Satan doesn't want to see that. He will tempt you. He will fight you. He will bring this and that. I don't know if you are hearing me. Don't forget that what you need is that light. You need that light. You know, when I'm speaking like this, uh, there are some people, I also want to mention myself. There are some people that you won't think they can fight. I'll just give you an example. There are some people, I'm also including myself, you won't even think they can fight. But because the light of God has lightened them, they know the challenges. They know why they are challenged. I don't know if you're hearing me. I'm also referring to you. But there are others who forget that the light of God is in them. Any challenge, it makes them to retaliate. And they don't know that they are extinguishing that light. When you see some people, they look foolish to you. They 
oh, they look coward. It's not because they are coward. There's something they value most that is in them. They value most something that is in them than what you are doing. They can rather leave you. But if they wanted to show you they are like you, they could do that. But they know very well that there is something in them they value. I don't fear hearing me. Some of you here, you have tempered with the light that God has given you. Amen. Because when challenges strikes, you begin to forget what is important. That is in you. There is something important. The light in you that will make you to be aware of what will happen tomorrow. That will bring revelation in your life. Today, you are in the dark. Because everything gives you direction. Anything gives you direction. When you are singing for the last time, I want us to go and pray after that. Jesus. And try to reveal our hearts to him. We need that light. Sing for last time, Mama. Here I am. Lift up your hands and sing. Here I am. Sing. You're, You're my, my God. God.
When you begin to pray the prayer, begin to pray that prayer. Begin to pray the prayer. Oh, thank you, Lord. Expose us today to your greatness. Expose us today to your love. Expose us today by your light. Let your light shine, Lord, in our hearts. Father, expose us to your will. Carry on praying. 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 Oh, 
I'm here, Lord, all together, all together with Thee, all together, wonderful. Here I am. Oh, here I am. Here I am to say, Your mind, oh, all together, all together with me. All together Amen Thank you Jesus You know, I want to tell you Congratulations The way you are praying now, don't stop praying like that. Keep that fire burning. Don't stop praying like that. The way you are coming to God now, the way you are doing now, don't stop carrying on until the light of God will flash there. And now you will know who you are in the Lord. No one will be able to deceive you again. No one will be able to rob you again. No one will be able to attack you again. Because you know yourself. I say you know yourself. I say, say I know myself. Because there's a light of God in me. Some of you, when you move from here, Satan is still going to tempt you. Don't forget. It's not that you cannot fight. But value what is inside you. You know what you have received. Inside you, value it. Satan is searching for them. Are you seeing all these storms? Are you seeing all these winds? They are searching for what God has given you. Satan will never find it. So, do not surrender. Do not what? Surrender. Do not surrender. Because you are not yet defeated. You will make it in Jesus' name. You will really make it. 